Hello everybody, I'm Bones. Uh, we're doing a beat tap today. So let's get started. I want to do a quick apology to our fans. We hadn't had a single Let's Play last week. Uh, we were all quite sick around here and kept getting cold after cold after cold. It just never seemed to end. I can tell you how crazy our weather is. Yesterday it was 50 degrees, today it is snowing. Um, gotta love Michigan. Uh, so anyways, this is a nod to 80s movies, I'm told. Uh, when we were kids, we spent countless hours on watching 80s TV cop shows. We love watching good guys taking bad guys' asses, saving beautiful women, and driving muscle cars in the night. We knew they weren't true, but we didn't care. We had a damn good time, and that's what counted. B-Cap is not a document about New York in the 80s. It's a tribute to all those evenings spent in front of the TVs. So relax, enjoy the game. And don't take life too seriously. I, I did that. Maybe that was on every channel at some point. My Conan O'Brien? Conan O'Brien, super tough. Funny night. Man, listen to this music is straight out of here. So, they did a great job with that. Um, I'm very, very impressed with you. Uh-oh. Who else is in the house? Oh, thank God you did. That's a safe an alarm going on. So clearly somebody, uh... Oh, uh, I didn't get the burglar. I didn't get the burglar. Not a great lead for this start off. But I love the like 80s, the feel of the 80s that this game has. Now I'm told uh, this game is quite crazy. Senators Diamonds go missing, unofficial sources for that. Alright, so what seems to be going on here is that I am implicated in these Senators Diamonds missing because they're missing. There's a dead body. Um, I don't really know much more than that. I guess we'll see. 1986. Day one new shoes. So each day has a name. I don't know what that means. If you've already met our colleague, new shoes I mean just, you know, new. I'm new. Maybe I should introduce myself again. Kelly? I'm Kelly. Jack Kelly. Hey Kelly. What's up? Hey Kelly. Welcome to the street. Detective. In quotes. Don't forget to kiss our asses, Kelly. Uh, what's that? Was I not a nice guy? Is it that? Is that what's going on? Be laughing at you, fancy. Nothing, boss. Use those brain cells you used and write this down. Two brain cells. That's a back without writing ten tickets. I, I do really dig the kind of Nintendo y style of art here. This actually is closer, guys, to Police Quest, the original Police Quest game, and games like that that came out for PC. Um, I remember Police Quest very fondly. It's one of the first like Sierra games that I played. Uh, Although I was huge on Sierra games. There was King's Quest, that was the first one I played. Um, which became so popular that it even went on to one of the consoles, it went on the Sega Master System. Um, those of you who don't know, they had a 8 bit Master System. Okay, I don't need to worry about rating tickets today. I'm sorry, there's so much going on in this game. I'm trying to talk to you all and then pay attention to this, and it's like, holy cow. Alright, let's see Rick, Louie, Ivan, Zahad Adam Mansky, is it her prank, Electronic Store, Father, Father Mushroom? Um, that Mike knows the neighborhood like the back of his head. This is definitely in the 80s, because you couldn't have got away with telling somebody Fat Mike. Uh, like nowadays, somebody would be like, that's fat shaming, like back then. 80s kids were kind of dicks, man. I'll be honest. Um, I, I was an 80s kid. I grew up in the 80s. I can tell you all, it was definitely not a very politically correct time to be alive. Um, but I do miss how it toughened you up very quickly as a kid. Like, the your curfew uh, in the summertime, our curfew were like when the streetlights were on. Back then, 
all the neighbors knew the neighbors, all the parents knew each other, they talked a lot, so all the kids were safe at anybody's house, usually. Usually. Okay, so these chapter decks and they're teasing me about stealing the senator's diamonds, which I did not do. Really, that's bad, Mike. I'm Polly Kelly. Jack Kelly. Whatever. Tell me, Mike, that Mike. Whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. That's a great attitude to have. The boss told me to babysit you today. I want to get this over with. Same here. It's my last day on the street. Let's go. Where? Meet at Louis and Saint Fire. Please tell me it's a pizzeria. I'm checking on Adamansky on the way. I just stopped in at his place yesterday. Let's see if everything's alright. Oh, so these are clickable. They do think it's okay. Can I get my ass over there? Okay, so I can move by clicking. Uh, here's a fun fact. You see that hot dog stand out there? You wouldn't think it, but hot dog vendors actually make quite a bit of money. Um, think about it. How much money you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, right? I'm reading this. I'm letting you all read this, but we're going to talk for a minute here. Um, and the reason is because I myself always thought it would be fun to do some hot dog vending. I have like a little rideable cart thing. Um, I don't know why. I like talking to people, man. Visit stores and talk to the owner and say, see, you know a lot. Um, but yeah, they do make quite a bit. If you've been to Home Depot, you'll know Home Depot and Lowe's normally have hot dog guys there. You sell hot dogs um, as you go out one of the entrances, and the thing is, they rent that spot, but I mean, they charge you what, like three to five dollars, basically, for your for your meal. Um, you can get a pack of hot dogs for three to five dollars. So you see what I'm saying? They're making a bunch of yeah. It's actually one of the cheapest food vending businesses you can start and make money on. This dude's telling me all about bribes and stuff like that, and I, I don't. Ugh. Let's try not to be a crooked cop. We're already apparently here to see this. I'm still not done being sick, apparently, but uh, I want to do a Let's Play today, so. I've been watching this game for a while. And as I said, one of our big things is doing smaller games, because I like doing smaller games. I think they, uh, and look at the colors in this game, though. They do, uh, pretty good with that. They put a wide color palette. Anyways, yeah, by the way, Sega had a 8-bit uh, system, for those of you who don't know. Um, and it was actually superior in many ways to Nintendo's design. They had a slot, oh, they're connected Italians. We came for a pizza, Louie. Pizza does sound delicious, actually. We're transferring me and Ali's taking over. Hope our relationship will be fruitful. Um, so it had a front slot on it, and the games were like those TurboGrafx-16 games. They were called card games. And you could slide them in there. Those were cheaper, like 10 bucks a pop type games. The other ones were cartridge games, and they loaded from the top, so you didn't need to blow in them. The whole reason... Most of us remember blowing the cartridge as a Nintendo uh, player was because of the side-loading mechanism. But that actually helped them play piracy because there was a certain chip, apparently, that they used. So that's a little video game trivia for you guys. Um, Sega even was way ahead years uh, ago and did LCD liquid shutter display 3D glasses. This is true, you can look it up. Uh, they were like 60 bucks. Um, so they weren't red and blue, they were clear, you know, they were normal 3D. They just flickered a bit, but they were very quick. So like Space Harrier, there was 3D Space Harrier, I used to have all the Sega 3D games. I had a Sega Master System. Um, there's still some real gems for it. Some dirty hippie didn't pay the parking meter. I have my ticket before he slips out. I wasn't supposed to write tickets today. I didn't bring my ticket book. God damn it. 
Honestly, I feel like I, I that is a rookie move. I really should have done that. Why? Okay. This highlights. Can I just? That's a 1968 Wrights Wagon Hippie. <laughs> you said parking violation. So that's Kelly. Badger number. Check. There we go. To get written up. Let's get this clunker out of here. Alright. Call for a tow truck on the radio. So this is my radio. Give me my ticket back. Okay. We can go towing that actually highlights too, and then I can just click that. Um, I actually like the interface here. Instead of a traditional HUD, you get these, which is kind of cool. Um, you can report a car, report a person, or call towing. That was easy. The worst ones run up and cause a scene. Oh boy. You need to learn to pacify them. Do you mean like. Do you mean like calm them down? I don't know what this guy he seems like he's sort of on the sly crooked cop guy. You know what I mean? Now the handcuffs. What about them? Use them every day. I don't, uh, you're gonna need to learn how to cuff a perp. The slap on the cuffs down there on my belt. So I click these and you're close to them. Okay. Part 21, this is central. We got a rubbery. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Shit, shit, shit. Go get him, go get him, guys. Go get him, go get him. And then I hit these. Oh, there's a kerfuffle. I whooped his ass. I can't eat him, but I'm trying That's probably not a thing, is it, guys? Um, I am gonna say this. Yeah, I know where he is, dude. Just gotta get back here. I still gotta talk to all these other people. This guy really wasting my time, and I gotta meet every shop owner. Well, Aside from the darkies, oh, nice. We also got the Italian mob in the area. This is definitely the 80s. Like I said, it was not politically correct at all. Um, I felt a little guilty even reading that. Just saying, we got two hostile forces in the area. Now we'll split up. Thank you. Scope the neighborhood out, talk to the people. I'll we'll see at the end of the ship. Remember, you don't need to push yourself to do everything every day. Uh, let's meet up at 4 p.m. in Colonel Louis. Yeah, I do remember somebody telling me um, when I mentioned I might do a Let's Play this that, you know, not to take it too hard if I couldn't get everything done because you just, you can't, apparently. For F's sake. I know they're framing you. I want to help. The murder charge? The kid wasn't a saint. Nothing we can do for him with the city needs you. Thank you, Captain. I didn't finish. You got cat but that's one condition. Those missing diamonds need to be found. There were no diamonds at the Senators. I don't know what was and wasn't there. So even he doesn't believe I can steal them. Uh, so you are kind of like 21 days. So you got like three weeks in this game. Um, I would ask maybe if anybody knows, uh, if you beat this, is it, does it unlock, like, just a unlimited mode? We get to play whenever you want, because, not whenever you want, it's a joker! So, alright, he runs the boutique. I'm just kind of clicking these guys, I, I'm sorry, but, uh, I'm just trying to get from point A to point point B very quickly here. So that's the end of that street, I think. So this is your beat. The street is your street, basically. That's what this is. I, I rhyme, guys. I rhyme. Good day, officer. Hello, I'm Kelly. Perhaps you can't drink on duty. But off duty, we can always find something at a good price for you. Now that's the kind of liquor store I like. The kind that'll bargain with you. Um... And I also worry, like, you know those places where good day Officer Kelly? Oh, I'm Officer Kelly. Just wanted to introduce yourself. Um, I'm also happy that that place was not too horribly it seems, so I won't be getting in trouble. 
Um, I'm just hitting up every every store I can. I feel like I should be combing signet ring. I ain't seen any of that stuff. And this lady thinks I'm trying to steal her jewelry. I'm a very fast reader, guys, so if you are not seeing all this stuff, uh, I'm trying to move real quick here. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie, I feel slightly overwhelmed by this game. There's so much to see and look at, and it's gorgeous. Um, I love the attention here. There's just enough to make this feel really alive, this place, without making it feel too clunky. Like the graffiti's just right. I love the joke accent here in the writing. Um, I figure it's kind of just doing hellos and things like that today, so I'm not going to be missing out on any vital information right now. The Moonwalk Diner. That is awesome. Little MJ, uh, nod there. He's a copy. Coming right up. Today it's on the house. Well, alright, that's nice of you. Well, that's clearly the church. Um, this feels like an 80s movie to me. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. There's a, uh, really good Kelly, Irish, after my great grandparents. Catholic? Sometimes. <laughs> nice. I got enough of that in front of the sergeant. Does the sergeant love you like Jesus does? Does he forgive? Definitely not as often. That's a good joke there. I like that. Little razzle dazzle on the humor. Make fat your butts. Sweet around the hole. It's literally two butt jokes in one sign. If you don't know how it's two, I'm not going to explain it to you. Um, read, read the name, read the slogan, and you'll see why it's two butt jokes instead of one. Dozen donuts? I'm not that type of cop. He looked away too. That's a little, uh, that's another little, like, in joke. A lot of 80s movies would always have, like, the pretty girl. The guy would flirt with her and she was always, always like, oh, I'm not that type of girl. But she'd always, like, turn away when she did it, you know, super dramatic. Uh, just, you know, I'm not that type of girl. Never me, no. So, that's pretty funny. Two stores left to say hi to. Yo, yo, yo. Jaron Diggs and this is my joint. Officer Kelly. Everything's legit, officer. I didn't even ask. Uh, we know what they say about us. I'm new, I haven't heard yet. Welcome, you can always come to an agreement. If you're legit, why do I need to come to an agreement, man? Sometimes we, uh, we got something worth buying. Now that, good opportunities. I remember that. I'm gonna keep my eye on that when he says. <laughs> There's a central. You gotta call it a store, Froggy Cut a Thief. Froggy, where's that? I'm new here. Porn store. On my way. Well, I'm right here, so I'm doing this before I go. Um, now, yeah, I heard that basically you have to pick and choose what you can do. What you do that day, Top Gun. Um, and I'm not meaning to say, you know, I'm not going to take the time to read all these chats. I'm just trying to kind of. Uh, you guys are gonna laugh at me, man, but I kind of feel slightly nervous right now in this game. Um, like, I don't want to miss out on stuff I should be doing. <sighs> it's a hot dog guy, of course it is. Take the hot dog, extra mustard. In real life, no. I either do chili dogs or I do my dogs plain. No onions, no mustard, no ketchup. So that's not bad. Two bucks for a hot dog seems like about the same price uh, you pay now. Finally bagged that thief. I was just looking. Is that what you always say? Okay, I'll take care of it. What'd you do, punk? I was just looking. At what? The prophylactics? Let's press him a little. 
Don't fucking piss me off. Turn out your pockets. There you go. Let's see, you got five bucks. Pay for the prophylactics and get lost. If they cost a buck, consider the rest damages, dumb pig. You want me to lock you up with my Ningo? No. This game went there. But I'll remember this. I'll spread the good word about you. Glad I could help the guy. Okay, so everything I do here affects this balance, from what it looks like. Um, I'm talking to policemen. I'll become a policeman too when I grow up. Well, that's a cute kid. Dad says it's a good job. Really? Yeah, you can always take bribes. I think I should have a word with him. He's not afraid of anyone. Okay, nice talking to you, but I'm wasting time. Hey, you're not. Check your watch. So there's my watch. It's like time stops during conversations. Hey, you're right. I'm going to see you later. Later, kid. A lot of information to be process, guys. A lot of information. Okay, so I did the big ones. Sorry, find the missing jewelry. The captain will take care of the rest. My stats are here. So all this is my HUD base. I kind of, I really like that all this is on my belt. Um, I feel like this could have been up there, would have been a better move for it, honestly. And keep the belt theme looking really efficient, like have this up there. But I also see that he's done so much uh, work here, graphic-wise. The crew is not loving me. So please, Mafia crew. So basically, law, you know, community law, and gangster law. So we have to decide which law we're going to be uh, best with. He wants to talk to me. Do I want to talk to him? I don't know if I want to talk to him. Officer, yes, you're new here. Get up to get acclimated. How's that? We could meet up, play a hand. This isn't Vegas. Gambling is illegal. Come on now. You said anything about gambling? A little R and R never hurt anybody. I'll think about it. Please do. Thanks, I have to go. Later. Well, that's not so bad. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was a little worried that uh, he was going to have some crazy stuff for me to do. Um, and I didn't want to mess up too bad on my first day here. Oh, man. I'm like looking at this here. There's so much. Oh, oh. Sergeant Holloway wants to talk to you. What does he want? I don't know, but I suggest you hurry. Uh, he can't demote you any lower, so he'll just fire you. That's, that's thrilling. I am going. That's how you know you're definitely in a cop maybe when they threaten to demote you. Um, plus the captain's pissed off. What do you want, Holloway? That's Sergeant Holloway to you, motherfucker. Clearly you went to the Samuel L. Jackson. I swear on all that it's fucking holy. Calling to let you know. I'm watching you. Okay. I'm gonna help you with Sergeant, sir. Are you fucking with me, Kelly? I wouldn't dare, Sergeant, sir. Your ex wife, you filthy piece. Of course I have an ex wife. I'm an 80s cop. Is giving her daddy hell. Says so she's unhappy. And for that, I get shit from the chief. And I'm not gonna get fucked because of you. Hey, the alimony, don't fuck around. So I got. Oh, how dare you, you Irish fuck. But Sergeant, you don't know the whole. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to hear another word about her. Man. Yes, sir, Sergeant, sir. My guy is having a shitty first day. Um, I like the neighborhood. Uh, and you can hear people talk on the street. I feel like they're going to be some tips maybe I'll get from people. I don't know. Is that... Am I wrong, guys? Do any of you play this out there that are doing Let's Plays, or are you just watching it to watch it? Um, the Dukes of Hazard car is here. Um, I feel like, you know what we're going to do at least, even if I can't have something else to do. I ain't got shit to do for now. What else? That's what I got to do, man. So what am I supposed to do? Just wander? Um, although I heard that this game gets pretty crazy and it gets overwhelming, and there are, like, days where you just can't do everything. So you basically got to decide who to side with, who you want to be friends with, who you don't, um, all sorts of stuff. Uh, so I do think that's interesting. 
Uh, is this the kind of game... Is this game what I thought it would be? Um, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and say it's a little more impressive than I thought it would be on my first day here. It's uh, been a little interesting. I feel like the first day they could have thrown you uh, maybe one more thief just to help you get acclimated to that or have something where you got to train your gun a bit would have been good. That's cool with the car. It's a charger. Uh, the Dukes of Hazard car is actually a charger. If I remember, I know the re like the remake that the Super Troopers guy did was a charger. Um, is the new one, or is the original a charger, guys? Uh, I grew up in the 80s. Dukes of Hazard wasn't really my thing, man. Uh, as a kid, I wanted cartoons, you know? Dukes of Hazard was around, uh, and then Gumby came on after, so I was all about Gumby. Um, Gummy had one of the coolest superpowers I've ever seen. It could enter any book. Um, let me tell you, my teenagers would have benefited from that. There you are. Got to look around the neighborhood. Talk to the people I can handle this place. Sure. What are we waiting for? A friend wanted to meet you. What's he doing? Oh shit. Holly, get down. Get the fuck down. Oh shit, it's a drive by. Oh my god, my first day. Nothing left to do. Put his guts all over the fucking ground. He's bleeding out. Goddamn. Kelly, watch what you say. The media's here. BS News. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> Move back. This is a crime. I like how BS News is my news. Day one recap. Um, I feel like I really got to watch this and keep a balance with these three. How? What do you guys normally go with on this? Are you mafia? Do you? That's a business owner. Okay, so this is like a recap of your day. I need to come up with two more. Okay, I make fifty bucks a day. Three days, that's not going to be enough to pay that. That's we're looking at 150, so. Well, I don't have any hot dogs. I'm still going to need more. And, uh, I'm going to end up having to take a bribe of some sort. I don't know what kind of bribe, but something. Your kitty kitty is day two. Let's see what this entails. That's enough. Morning, boss. Morning, morning. Nice. Definitely, definitely the 80s. Do you have anything better to talk about, douchebag? What are you talking about? About Fat Mike, you insensitive dick. My dick feels pretty sensitive right now. But um, Ah, Cortez. I'd Fat Mike 50 bucks. What am I supposed to do with it now? I think you were going to pay him back anyway. Give it to his family. I'll think about it. Shut the hell up. This is serious. Our friend got murdered. We can't let this slide. I agree. A lot of our people are working on this. Kelly really got... Uh, himself really got out alive. He cheated fake. Fuck off. Watch Mike die. Alright, enough. Briefing time. Here we go, guys. The nitty gritty of the city. Sip up again and I'm out. I'm, I'm out in three days anyway if I don't come up with that money. Good lord. You got the Italians causing trouble. And powerful black gangs. We gotta get both under control. So I hear as little about them as possible. You piss on one, you'll benefit the other. Alright. So you better watch what you promise. Another deal, boss. Kelly, good job with your tasks. Thanks, boss. This is your neighborhood now. Keep it up. I always do my best. Show off. Alright, no pads at the ready. Here we go. Let's see, guys. You listening to Kelly? You listening to Kelly? You listening, Kelly? Today you're bringing in a minimum of five tickets that I can do for parking. The grace period. 
has ended. That starts now. Don't take that literally. I can handle it. We'll see. Sometimes when shit goes down, you don't even have time to take a piss. And if you double your quota, you get a little bonus in your paychecks to get to work. So basically, guys, I need to get 10 tickets today. Um, the alimony thing. Uh, you need to catch a bullet in your head. Why is that, huh? Get the fuck out of here. Tisk tisk, why so angry? You've had enough of it. You can always do what Jackson did. Meaning, he's moonlighting for the Italians and eventually fucked off abroad. State offers plenty of opportunities, but this conversation never happened. You can fuck off too, you're already in a car. I'll find out who took out Fat Mike. We better stay out of this. We're going for donuts. Big surprise. Uh, you might want... Need to... Okay, double click to run, handcuffs, and we don't have to do everything. Time for the command later. Later, morons. Okay! Now just get to fucking work on this. This says no parking in this asshole's parking. I'm pretty sure that's a parking violation, is it not, guys? Calling it a parking violation, right off the bat. In real life, you also can't park on hydrants, but I don't know if that's a thing here. So what we're gonna do is we're looking at everything I can. He's got an hour. You most certainly are illegal. No, oh, you motherfucker, don't you run. Not gonna lie, that was a little trickier than I thought. Well, that would be... Oh god, what am I doing? After this, I need to get that toad. What I, I don't know. Guys, what is wrong with me? My brain's not on right. I'm freaking out. I'm already, like, jumping the gun. I'm overexcited. Uh, I'm gonna say these are all the signs of a game that can potentially be pretty fun, guys. This is pretty interesting. Healing truck on its way. Right, so let's get our ass back over there. If we can, please. This car is an easy ticket, because again, no parking. In real life, guys, don't park in front of hydrants, because the cop will give you a ticket. And obviously, no parking means no parking. Don't, don't mess with that shit, because they do not play at all when it comes to that in real life. Um, here's something you may not know, guys. Um, you can dispute a towing until the tow truck driver hooks up your vehicle. After that, alright, so the Italians want to help you with that apparently. Check meter, expired, right ticket, parking violation, boom, boom, bam. Your friend's waiting through at Rick's. He wants to talk about something. Thanks for letting me know, brother. So who could it be? I didn't get to tell you, lady, but I still got the violation. Right, there's Rick's right here, so I might as well just be with now. Leblonsky. Why do you care? Professional solidarity? What happened to you? It could have been any one of us. It pisses me off, and it's a shame about Fat Mike that it is. That's what you wanted to tell me? I don't think they're done with you yet. What do you mean? First off, the case of your stinks from a mile off. Then Fat Mike, Mike gets got. Right beside you, if stay on the new beat. What are you trying to say? So basically they were aiming for me. Is what he's saying. I looked into your case, so I want to help you, Jack. Because you like me? No, I got my reasons. We have more in common than you think. Is my long lost brother? No, but I feel like we're family. We're we gonna hug now. Clearly, Yablonsky isn't somebody that I would buy. Yeah, you see the language there, the racial slurs and all that. Clearly, this is not a game that gives a shit about being PC, but, you know, and I, I think I remember reading somebody bitching about that, but uh, I'm going to say this. They're doing the 80s. The 80s are not PC. If you don't believe me, see if you can find the un PC moment in a little movie called Monster Squad, because there is one. I know where Moonlock is. It's double time at them. How am I gonna even get five tickets at this rate? Yeah, hold on, hold on. They're writing that ticket. 
and we're gonna get a tote because then I know I only need one more to do my normal and if I can double it, which we're, we're trying to double it today sorry hot dog guy, no hot dog for me every cent counts apparently to my alimony, what? Jesus fuck man Yeah, they don't fuck around in this game, that's for sure. There's an alley, there's an alley, there's no crowd in either one of those alleys. What other alley is it? Here, here we go. Found the victim, I did. When? A few minutes ago. Uh, asked about the murder. Do you see the murder? No one in the body. This is all. Do you recognize the victim? What a hood is? No, I'm very unfortunate. Say so, for its personal information, say anything suspicious, no, I don't know anything, it's been a murder. If I said it would end like this, what would? First it was Vietnam, the next thing you know. What do you mean, strangely? Thank you? Let it go. Thank you for your time. Goodbye, goodbye. Pretty pissed off enough people. I'm Officer Kelly, I can ask you a couple questions regarding the body you're standing about six feet away from. I just got here. I'd like to know what's going on. Either I get rid of him, or I hit him. It's been a murder. How do you know it was a murder? No reason to suspect that. I don't know anything. I can stand where I like. Please don't make this any harder than it has to be. Let's try and touch me, pig. Sure. You're in my way and you're pissing me off. Tough guy. They're right, you really don't have time to do everything. You see how fast that got from the first day, guys? The second day is nuts. Yes, I'm still alive. Dude. Turn what I took. Jesus Christ. I'm definitely not going to make my quota. I'm trying. But, uh, man. It is literally almost impossible. He's upgrading up, sir. What's the deal, huh? I knew you're 20. Accept it. The only reason I'm doing that is because I can get this one. Plus, I need to take a few bribes in order to make make my money work. <sighs> now, who is this asshole? Bankman. Six thirty one. This is Ramirez. So we're near this. We're going to Bankman's. Peter Bankman. Clearly, that's Peter Bankman. Fifty bucks right off the bat is pretty good. I'm gonna write a ticket. Like in violation. Get her towed. I know what you guys are thinking. I can't believe he's taking this and I said I was gonna be a you know what? I said I was gonna be a nine fifty cop, but that was before alimony. Um but it also kinda opens your eyes, guys, doesn't it? Maybe that's uh how crooked cops happen in the first place. You know, is it just a case of like Is it just a case of that? I don't know. 
it certainly could be. Alright, now let's get the hell out of here. What? A black cat I'm looking for. Six thirty one is much farther away than I thought. What did he say that guy's name was? Ramirez. Try and make a little extra money here. Okay, you all saw that, right? I did not even try to have a fight with them. That game just automatically went there. I don't really know what to do about that because um, I'm trying to not piss the crew off that badly. But apparently the game is determined that I'm just going to piss them off that badly. Right now I'm taking every nickel, dime, and cent I can. And people are going to give me that stuff. And I'm fine with it. That was called a Doc Brown, that car. Other than checking parking meters, I don't seem to be able to. Oh my lord! I only need two more guys, and I get my ticket quota for the day. So let's see what we can do. And if somebody stops me from towing it, then even better. On the plus side, I'm doing much better with money, but I need to, like, knock it off with the crew there, because they're going to kill me. Um, I'm doing pretty good there with, uh, uh, yes, I have my money for my money already. Good. That actually means tomorrow I can fly a little more straight. Uh, God. Anyways, I'm going to call it here, guys. Uh, I'm Bones. I got the feeling I could get really, really involved in this game. This is Beat Cop. Uh, it's on so frequently, but uh, the got a good feel to it. A little bit of adult humor in it. So, you know, maybe not one to play around the youngsters, but if you're like me and an 80s kid, or you like cop movies, or you love Beastie Boys Sabotage, the music video, which perfectly captured those movies, let's be honest, that was an amazing video. Um, thank you, sir. I think it's above board, too. Okay. Alright, well, I'll call this the point where I do that. So, uh, anyways, guys, listen. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm Bones. This is a BCAP. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Uh, comment below. What was your favorite 80s movie? Do you watch 80s movies? If so, what is your favorite 80s movie? Mm, also, do you have any tips on this game? Share them with me. What can I be doing to make my guy make more money every day without going nuts like I have been? Um, love to hear from you guys. So yeah, I'm Bones. Look for more stuff from us. We're back on track this week, and uh, it's good to be back, even though I'm still sick. Um, time stops for no one, as we found out in this game. You guys have a good day.